Welcome friends and family to this joyous event. We're gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Michelle and Scott. Yes. Where's my taxi cushion? Buy my comic here. In my new It's perfect. While this day will forever be important in Michelle and Scott's lives, the date, June 17th, has been significant for a long, long time. Back when Michelle and Scott were in high school, she is a freshman, he is a sophomore. They became best friends, and they joked that one day they would probably get married. <laughs> They even picked a date, June 17th. Every day is a chance to discover. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. She said you were working on your whiskey collection. I so was, yeah. A bullet, Perfect. a bug, and then that's a decanter. <laughs> Says cheers to us and our amazing friends and family. I can only have one drink, so I gotta share this with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed about it and they remained good friends for the next 12 years. Then a change took place in their relationship and they started dating. Yay, so pretty. Let's go get married. And then they got engaged. As for <laughs> setting a date for the wedding, well, there was no question. June 17th, of course. Yay! I'm a princess. Yeah, <laughs> just, just like a emotional person. You too, honey. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> do you I have to go home with her still. I'll see you when <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Michelle and Scott, every experience that you've ever had, everything that you have ever done, and everything that you've ever learned has brought you to this incredible moment. June 17th, 2016. You may be seated. <laughs> How are you? Good. <laughs> Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within its circle of love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit of love unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise made in the hearts of two people, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Sooner or later, we begin to understand that love is more than verses on Valentine's and romance and movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, it's real and true. Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, a seed that can flourish in even most unlikely of places, and this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy, is the greatest treasure of all one known only by those who love. In the presence of your family and friends, do you, Scott, 
Rothstead, come here freely and without reservation to affirm your co covenant of love and fidelity to Michelle Doty and your intention to live together in marriage. I do. In the presence of your family and friends, do you, Michelle Doty, come here freely and without reservation to affirm your covenant of love and fidelity to Scott Rothstead and your intention to live together in marriage? I do. Scott, repeat after me. Okay. I, Scott, take you, Michelle. I, Scott, take you, Michelle. To be my best friend. To be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. My wife. My wife. My one true love. My one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. To love you truly. To love you truly. Through good times and bad. Through good times and in bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will forever be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down. To lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. And to love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures. Through all of our adventures. In life together. In life together. I, Michelle, take you, Scott. To be my best friend. To be my best friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. My husband. My husband. And my one true love. And my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to encourage you and to inspire you. And to love you truly. And to love you truly. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will forever be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down. To lift you up when you are down. And to love you unconditionally. And to love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures. Through all of our adventures. In life in together. In life together. Now that you've heard Scott and Michelle say their vows, do you, their family and friends, promise from this day forward to encourage them and love them, to give them your guidance, and to support them in their marriage? If so, answer, we do. We do. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the box that Matron of Honor Kristen is holding looks like an ordinary box, but it will become a special keepsake for Michelle and Scott. Each of them has written a very special letter to the other. The letters describe the qualities they admire in each other, how they fell in love, their reasons for choosing to marry, their hopes and dreams for the future. Michelle and Scott, keep this box in a place of honor in your home as a constant reminder of today and of your commitment to each other. And then, on your 10th wedding anniversary, open the box, toast your love with the bottle of wine that's in there, and read the letters that you wrote to one another when you were united in marriage. And marvel, marvel at all the things that have come to pass. The wedding ring is worn on the third finger because of an ancient Roman belief that a vein from that finger connected directly to the heart. Michelle, with this ring, I pledge my love. I pledge my love. And faithfulness to and you. faithfulness to you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Scott, with this ring, I pledge my love. I pledge my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Michelle and Scott have chosen to memorialize their commitment to each other with a wine ceremony. This is a French tradition that dates back to centuries past that took place when the daughter of a vineyard owner married the son of another vineyard owner. Michelle and Scott, these two graphs of wine represent your individual spirits, all that you are, all that you've been, and all that you will become. Two individual wines are combined to create a new wine two individual lives are combined to create a new life. Yum. <laughs> Tastes great. I want more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though you are two persons, there is but one life before you. May beauty surround you in the journey ahead and through all the years, may happiness be your companion and may your days be good and long upon the earth. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, it gives me great joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Let me express your love with a kiss. I feel like this has been a day in the making well before Scott popped the question, and I'm excited to finally be here to celebrate two of my favorite people 
who I think we all know are quite perfect for each other. When these two finally made it official and started dating, the only thing I could think to say was finally. You know you're going to marry him, right? Michelle had the biggest smile on her face and just agreed. Since that day, I've been counting down the days until today finally arrived. So I think back to, this all started, I, I, I'll, I'll never forget it. It was December 21st, 2014. It was a Monday night. Mrs. Dode, Ellen and I were watching TV. The doorbell rings at 10 minutes after six. She's sitting in her position. I'm in my position. We're not answering the door. There's no way. So we just let it ring. It, it rang again. I says, oh shit. I, I says, I gotta, get. I, I walked around the corner and I looked. And I see him through our front door. <laughs> well, it's four days before Christmas. I know what this is about. So I open up the door and I look at him and I stand there and I says, listen to me, I told you, if you're gonna marry my daughter, you don't need my permission. Fortunate, she's very lucky and fortunate to have you, and it's a great match. Some of you know this is not our first rodeo. Mike and I have both been maid of honor and best man before, and pretty good at it. And um, we clean up well. We're excellent dancers. And for the low, low price of two chicken dinners and 30 vodka sodas, we're yours for hire. Uh, we first and foremost want to thank the families, both the Rofsteads and the Dodies, for putting together this amazing event. They've been so supportive of this couple, as well as everyone else in the engagement party, and we're so lucky to be a part of it. Most importantly, we'd like to apologize for all the mischief that has taken place at both of your houses over the last two decades. And let's be honest, Sarah and I are not completely to blame for this. Now to talk about my man, Scott. So we've been friends since bird school. Growing up, we would play hockey on the street with everyone from the neighborhood, including a few girls who were better than us at sports. As we got older, we would cruise around the village in his GTP, looking for hot chicks, but more often than not, we'd end up with Sarah and Michelle. I've been friends with Michelle since sixth grade since I bullied her into joining cheerleading. Since then, Michelle and I have become a little too similar. We both have parents who grew up on the north side of Chicago, who we can thank for our short stature, our heavy Midwest accents, and of course, our beer bellies. We both love pizza, tacos, yoga, Britney Spears, and rap music. We both have a brother who makes us look like the good child. We're just glad they're both here today. They both got haircuts. With all these similarities, Michelle and I were able to find the sister we never had within each other. Uh, Scott, it's been a long road to get here. We've had some late nights, some nights we don't remember, and some nights we're still trying to forget. Unfortunately, Summer Snow on Snapchat, thanks Brandon Aquino. Through all of it, I knew you were going to end up with Michelle. We all knew that, and we're so happy that we can be a part of it, and I think everyone else in, the same room feel, in this room feels the same way. I wish you two nothing but love and happiness, and I'm so excited to continue to watch the Michelle and Scott story unfold. I am by no means an expert on marriage, but my advice to you is to love unconditionally every day, even when the other is driving you insane. Love isn't always perfect, and at times it can be challenging, but hold on to the love you have today, and know that it will only go stronger as your life together continues. Now it's time to toast to this amazing couple on this already unforgettable day. 
Cheers to the new Rockstas. We love you both. We wish you nothing but love, happiness, and years and years of even more adventures. I love movies, and I think about parenthood. And your life is a roller coaster. It's not a, you don't want to go round and round. You want to go up, down, you know, challenges all the time. So my toast is to you guys, the very, very best. You deserve each other. You're perfect for each other. And God bless. I love you both. So everyone, please raise your glass. And toast to Michelle and Scott, the new Mr. and Mrs. Rockstar. Time. Here's a lotto card in the lobby. To a new beginning.